What's going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less, y'all. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking specifically about how some narcissistic people feel about their mothers. This is the mother edition, father edition coming up soon, y'all. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So as a narcissist myself, you can feel indifferent towards your mother and still like contact them and have a relationship with them. So before therapy, you know, I've been in psychotherapy for five years. Before therapy, like I had a, you know, tumultuous relationship with my mother. Like I always blamed her for my for my dad not being around, for me growing up in a single parent household and things like that without actually talking to her or, you know, talking to my father. I just assumed my father wasn't around. He was present, but not around. He wasn't a real dad or whatnot. I always assumed it was her fault. So I internally blamed her and I externally, you know, treated her not like a mother should be treated sometimes. So growing up and going through therapy and spending five years in therapy, I learned in talking to my mom, like it, it's not her fault. A lot of young men grow up in situations where they're in a single parent household and they blame their mothers for them being in single parent households without getting the side of their mother. They just assume the mom is at fault. I love my mom. I do anything for her. So welcome back y'all. If you could read the text on the screen, it says my narc ex hated his mother, blamed her for everything, and also was always communicating with her. I never understood this. So y'all heard my little personal story in that, within that little TikTok as well. Because for a long time, I was indifferent towards my mother. Cause I used to always blame her. Cause my, like I said, my father was not an absent father. He just wasn't around. He wasn't like the dad you needed him to be. I knew who he was. He was around, like we saw him all the time. He just wasn't a father. He was more like a, a, a uncle or a friend, a grown friend. You know what I mean? He was not a parent. So. I used to always blame my mom for not being like, why didn't you choose a better person? You know, I internalized that too. Why didn't you choose a better person? Like, why, why don't I have, a, why don't we get a dad? You know, we, we, don't, we get a good dad. Everybody else got a good dad. I used to internalize that for a lot for my mom. You know, I did. And I blame my mom for like how I turned out. I used to always blame her for stuff like that. It wasn't until I was an adult. You know, I love, but again, like this person said in her, in her statement, I love my mama. You, I could talk about my mama. You couldn't. I was, I'm mega defensive with my mama. Even right now, I love my mama. That's, you know, I do. But um, I just blamed her for a lot of stuff. But I still love her. You mean, I just like, but my therapist was just like, look, you got to let that go. She was, she, you know, you don't know, you know, you only know what you thought. I talked to my mom as an adult and she, she told me what was going on and just, it cleared up the air. But a lot of narcissistic people hate their moms. Just like I, like I said, they hate their moms or they're indifferent towards their moms. I don't think they hate them because you can't, you can't hate and love at the same time. You'd be indifferent. You mean, but a lot of narcissistic people hate their, they, they, they're indifferent towards their moms and they blame them and they harbor anger and hatred towards their mom or whatever. I keep saying different indifference and hatred. Y'all don't keep mixing them up with that. Y'all know, y'all get it. They don't like their moms really. You mean they internalize a lot of their feelings for their moms, but a lot of times their moms are all they have. So they just, they need them. They need their moms growing up. So they, they won't turn on their moms, but they also don't like their moms at the same time. You know what I mean? Some of them worship their moms. Like somebody, some of them, like their mom can do no wrong. And like I said, sometimes that's when you get the emotional, the emotional incest, weird relationships going on. Some, sometimes like it's like a son, husband, mother, daughter situation. It's, it's weird sometimes. You know what I mean? But a lot, some narcissistic moms, some some moms are in fact narcissists and make and drive insecurities into their kids and make them kid make their kids grow up feeling like no matter what they need to cherish their mom, no matter what they need to worship their mom, no matter what their mom comes first in their life. Their mom is going to be the main woman in their life, no matter what. Narcissist like their mom is a narcissist, you'll be competing with a narcissistic mother-in-law or whatever narcissistic mom, whatever. I mean, but some narcissists like that. They don't like their moms. Some in their in their disdain for their moms trickles down in, into them not liking other women. If it's a man, you mean, and things like that. And a narcissistic narcissist in their moms just have weird relationships. Y'all, it can go either way. But narcissists, a lot of narcissists feel indifferent towards their moms. Some of them hate them, but they won't get rid of them because they they were the only source of love, love, quote unquote, love that they had growing up. So they won't get rid of them. They won't cut them off and things like that. So it's just a weird relationship. You'll be battling with them. You will be battling with them over their mom for a long time. If, they, if you don't like their mom, oof, buckle up. <laughs> if you don't like that narcissistic person's mom, buckle up. Shout out to Icepeak1906. Anyways, y'all, five minutes or less. This might rain over. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you, thank you, thank you.